Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. And today I'm taking out the FW190A4 version. Now this is from FS Adni, I think F S A D N I. Same person who gave us the uh, 109, the Hurricane, uh, a couple, of, I think three biplanes, all last year or over a year ago or thereabouts. Now uh, he has come along and uh, delivered a new aircraft. The, uh, if you're offended by the tail insignia, there is uh, another livery that you can uh, swap out and uh, get rid of that, but this is historically accurate uh, livery, is what he's uh, using. It does look like it's very uh, factory fresh, although you go in too close and that gets a bit blurry. Um, as in there is no weathering on this. I'm sure there will be other liveries uh, soon enough. Uh, now this is a freeware aircraft, I will have the link in the description. Uh, we've got some okay details. From a distance, as you'd be flying it and looking at it, um, I'm sure it'll actually look pretty good. Got our radial engine in there. Okay. We do have uh, some weird views. Okay, we've got some weathering on this side from the engine. Do we have the same on the other? Oh yeah, just slightly. Um, so it has been flown, but there there is no chip marks. This is, looks very uh, fresh out of the uh, aircraft factory. Now inside, uh, there is no weathering at all except these plates on the bottom. Everything else looks pristine, and I think when you have the pristine look, it uh, it actually looks a little bit more animated than anything, a uh, bit bit more cartoonish. Dials are great, uh, great placement of stuff, little bit of kind of weathering and and uh, the looks would be good. What do we have here? I think this is shadowing. Oh, do we just have a person show up there? I'm not sure. All right, let's go through what we need to start this up um, and show you what we have as well. So we've got our lighting stuff here, landing lights taxi lights, strobe lights, nav lights, and cabin lighting. I'm glad we got uh, mouse over stuff. So we've got the fuel pumps. Let's go to the battery. Battery switch. We have avionics. Alternator switch, I think, automatically came on. Then we have fuel pump. We will probably need some fuel, so what we'll do is we'll bring it around to both. We have magnetos. Magnetos. I might open the canopy. See that that actually opens. Yep. Sounds like we're priming. All right. Fuel is on. Let's go for the start, which is this little red button. It took me a while to work out. Probably next to the uh, magnetos, there would be a start switch. There we go. Press and hold. All right. We've uh, created a racket. That animation almost looked like it was spinning two different directions. Now, closing that canopy, it doesn't think it changes the uh, sound too much. Let me just crank this up a fraction. No. So it doesn't actually change the, uh, the difference there. Uh, interior lighting is this uh, very red. I think I will skip that. Our nav lights. Yep, red and green are on. Strobe light. Do we have a strobe light? It might actually be under the canopy now. Unless there's a front one. No, it's actually on the, uh, there we go, next to the red. That's it, next to the red, okay. Uh, taxi lights. One light on the front of the fuselage there, the cowling, and landing lights. Don't actually see where landing lights is, I don't know if that makes it brighter or not. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, well done. Okay. Uh, now I have the park brake on, I will uh, look before we actually go through the views. None of these other switches seem to work. 
that nothing else is on them. You can't open up the manual. It is actually a manual of this aircraft by the looks of it. Uh, for the 109. Ah, oh, right. Hang on. That's a 109 book. There is uh, also a, some sort of scroll. We can't look at the maps. Do have our flaps. Nothing here is pressable. None of these are. Pre I guess they, they are. No, it's the throttle. I was going to say none of them are pressable. But they weren't when I was checking this before. Uh, the trim is. You can actually modify your pitch trim. Now, default view is like this. I really would like this up higher. I'll show you when we go to take off. Uh, we can zoom in, which I um, don't know. Then we seem to have one inside the uh, back of the engine bay. I think that's a mistake. Go through, we've got batteries and avionics uh, on the left side. That's good. And our landing gear uh, lever. On the right hand side, we have the flaps and our uh, instruments and the park brake. Then we go back to the engine and that's it. Th these are the views. So when we go back out and we can go up, we kind of go too close to the dash. So I think some of these need adjusting. When we look left, we're actually leaning into the little triangle area at the front there uh, to look out. So again, it goes forward. That may need adjusting. Uh, but let's go a little higher here. Park brake off. This person is going to be in the way. Turns really well. Now there's an engine change there. So inside there's almost nothing. I back off and then my engine noise comes back. Same when you just get it above idle and it's almost like it, is, it disappears the sound. Now when we get going you will hear there you go, it's like you can hardly hear anything. When we get going on the uh, runway here, you will hear that it changes the, I'm guessing the sound file completely to uh, a much uh, louder, higher pitched uh, sound file. So just that little bit extra from idle and it goes almost silent. Not sure what the deal is with that. Nobody coming, I'm going, we're good to go. Would like to see a little bit more weathered uh, deliveries come out on this. So looking left, we go up into the triangle, so that's not right. Um, or it's still looking right. Okay, so canopy, I'll actually do the canopy now. Doesn't change the sound, but let's get going. You can see that I'm back in that low, there. That's the sound, it just hits instantly, changes the sound. And I can't see over the dash, but if I were sitting up there, I could. Ah, oh, we do have a Rex on their way, okay. And the outside sound is different. Pull back on that. And animation of a landing gear, very nice. One goes up slightly before the other. Very constant sound on the engine. If I back off, it, take, it takes about 50% of backing off to make the engine noise change there. Alright, back off even more. And there, about, I'd say it's about 20%, there is no sound. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Alright, let's go and uh, have a bit of a fly and see how this thing flies. So, handling wise, what are we doing? Uh, speed. It's actually going quite well. Um, let's go and do some maneuverability testing here. Oh, this river. I'm on about 50% throttle. You can't 
can't instantly throw it around, but uh, it does quite well. Yeah. Someone's throwing it around. Um, I don't know if they necessarily uh, flew these things around, throwing them around so violently, but uh, it does actually quite well. And for a climb, it's going to push this. So you can't tell that I just went from 50% to 100% in throttle there because it didn't actually make a difference in sound, uh, which is disappointing, I think. Where is our throttle? That's our airspeed. I'm not sure that. I uh, know oh we're, we're flying level. I'm so not sure the um, altitude meter is working, but uh, that was hands off, and it actually flew quite level. All, right, all those gauges came up when I backed off. There's that 20% again. That's actually zero. Okay, now I'm down to zero. Yeah. So there's this little patch there that uh, kind of has this uh, vacant sound. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring it in for landing. Uh, we do have, I think it's down to 30% flat. I can prop pitch change it. Actually, that sounded like it killed it. Yeah, that's, that's a little uh, disconcerting. Uh, all right, flaps. All right, so you can see my gauge down there, and let's try not to crash here. Slow us down. 10%, 20%, and 30%. And gear down as well, and there's that uh, quietness when I back off the throttle. I hope that actually gets uh, uh, addressed because when you back off, you don't hear any sound at all. That's that's kind of weird. The rest of it flies all right. Would like a little bit more uh, the weathered look and all the used look for inside. Let's see if I can trim this approach. Yep, use the trim is fine. Might actually turn that down for you because that's probably gone quite loud. Hopefully you've been able to hear me talk the whole time. Uh, watching my airspeed, I'm coming quite shallow. I don't know about the sounds on this. Oh, that's probably a whoop. That'll be a palm tree. Probably the worst time to go around having a look at that. I was trying to hear the difference on the sound. Yeah, not sure. Right, I am up on the high chair as well. Oh, we're going to knock those out. So that's about 10% throttle. And there's no sound. those flaps back up. Um, look, it's a good, oh, good aircraft. Uh, this is the on version 1.0. Uh, link will be in the description. I hope that it actually does get a little bit more um, modification. Work out why there's that silence in the engine, just this little gap. Uh, there. Put on 10% throttle and we've got nothing. barely hear it there. Okay, let's go back to idle. Okay, there's your idle sound. So the, there's some gap there in uh, sound. Views need some improvement. Look, it's free. Uh, it's another addition to the 109 and the Hurricane and a few other of the uh, payware warbirds that are out there. I'm sure there will be a whole bunch more deliveries uh, coming out soon. Again, if you're offended by historically accurate uh, liveries, 
you can swap out that tail insignia with uh, four dashes that is um, in the actual file. Just uh, dump them into the folder and it uh, overrides them. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you've got any other questions or I missed something or uh, you know I misrepresented it. By all means, write something down below. Let me know what it is that I actually missed. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.